In a world where the daily grind often begins and ends with a cup of coffee, the next generation of coffee trends will likely be driven by new products and new users. We've seen plenty of trends start with younger consumers and then become adopted by older consumers. I call that a Gen Z mindset. If you are comfortable crowdsourcing restaurants from an Uber or Lyft in a city you don't know well, or you are seeking to live your best life and hacking for time efficiency as in your DNA, then the mindset moniker likely fits. The generations that proudly wear the labels of tech savvy, socially conscious, and effortlessly unconventional have, unsurprisingly, ushered in a new era of coffee consumption. Caleb Bryant, previously Associate Director, Food and Drink at Mintel and now a Client Insight Consultant at Circana, has written about the arrival of coffee consumption's fourth wave. While early movements heralded coffee's mass availability and a drive for quality, Gen Z is leading a new movement built around new product innovation and influencer marketing that is driving even more consumption. In fact, among non-alcoholic beverages, coffee products are projected to grow in incremental servings faster in the next five years than any other beverage type, according to Technomics Away From Home Beverage Report. This outpaces the growth of energy drinks, milk alternatives and carbonated drinks. So what can we learn about younger consumers through their coffee mugs? As the largest supplier of coffee and tea products to restaurants across the United States, I spoke to the team at Westrock Coffee. They are experts in understanding what consumers are demanding in their cups. It's a fascinating time in the coffee industry, provided you're responsive to the demands of the market and on how to serve a new generation of consumers and interests," said Sean Halterman, Vice President of Insights and Channel Strategy at Westrock Coffee who shared some fascinating insights that opened my eyes to a new side of the millennial and Gen Z markets. Drinking coffee was once considered an emblem of adulthood, favored by exam-cramming college students or young adults as they entered the real world. But traditional age-related barriers of entry may be less important to younger consumers, as young taste palates may be more sophisticated than ever. Coffee consumption is starting at a younger age. A Mintel study found that while adults 35 years or older reported first drinking coffee somewhere between their 18th and 20th birthdays, younger consumers start much earlier. Consumers currently aged 18 to 24 first start drinking coffee at an average age of 15. There was once something forbidding about the taste or accessibility of coffee until a certain age was reached, said Halterman. But by being exposed to a wider range of flavors and cultures earlier in life, young consumers have been developing a taste for coffee at a far younger age than their parents.